We'll be taking on the Ku Klux Klan, boys. The Brotherhood is running rampage, torching buildings and terrorizing the poorer parts of the city. Going up against the KKK may be risky, but it'll get us some new territory we can expand into. We might even make some new friends. Not only is it extremely risky, but completely unexpected, the KKK. And it looks like we'll be getting a couple of neat bonuses once we complete the mission. And during the mission, we'll get an extra gang member, an extra gang member space, and we'll level up after we finish. So that's always good. I've heard people talking about you. Nice ghetto accent. What's your step, big boy? Because this here singer woman knows the way around these parts. This is my town, my people. I don't know from nothing why you're here, but you have to earn our trust. She speaks an interesting type of English, at least. Have a look around this city first up. Lot of, lots of condos. So you want to be one of us? Beating the bag about it won't help. Show us that you're up to level. Okay, I will. Listen up. Many people around here have hit the rock bottom. Bums and rummies who are down on their luck. A soup kitchen will give them a hot meal and a glimmer of hope. Objective: build a soup kitchen. And it's telling us that we need, well, a soup kitchen can only be built on a house sign. Fair enough. So, house sign, here we come. Look at that, perfect. Got a lot of work to do. People really like us already, and we've got 18 feed rating. Any coppers around? Nope. Just a lot of speakeasies. And a brewery, or a distillery. A liquor. That's how it's done. That is indeed. That is indeed. So, of course, we want to establish the soup kitchen, which requires level two. Okay. I guess I'll have to upgrade this then. I give in. It goes $800, and now we should be able to establish this soup kitchen for $500. Got a lot of work to do. Soup kitchens are no fun as well, because they only take money. They make people like you, but they take money away from you. So, thankfully we started off in a fair amount of money. Let's have a quick look at the different options which we have. We've got, of course, the Lady Bridget Daredevil Laval, but we also got the brothers, the Tucci brothers. So, myra has got a revolver. Mr. Fix-It with the epic moustache as a shotgun. And Princess Tucci as a pistol. So, for me, I'm going to go for Luigi Fix-It Tucci, but I'll just wait it out. Until we really need him for a fight. Just not need. Not yet. Is I think he costs like 50 or so dollars uh, to hire him every day. I've got a bit of tram lines here. Street cars, Sim City style. Had a boy. How does it feel helping so many people? Couldn't say it feels any different than what it did before myself, really. But the community is starting to open up to you. Still, there's a long way to go before winning the people's trust. We need a like trading of 40, but we've got 42. Boss, we got another okay. message from the Ku Klux Klan. It seems we got them real mad. That's no good. They have started pulling strings in City Hall in order to send the police to shut down our operations. Until we find a way to get the KKK off our backs, we will have to deal with the additional heat. Heat rises with one star each day. Hey, man. I heard you're doing some good round here. About time someone decided to step up. I don't like the sound of one heat a day, but Big Man Johnson. You say you want to get popular around these parts. Well, I got the club, I got the music, and I can throw you the wildest party this town has seen. There is a small snag though. I'm all out of beer. Other joints might make do with tea and a coffee, but we need stronger stuff to liven up the place. Well, I don't think you can really make the best music then, can you, if you need beer? Supply my jazz club with 60 beer so we can get this party started. Hey, okay. so we've got speakeasies and um, joints. Well, distillery. No, we need a brewery. Uh, any houses here? No, there's not. So that means I'm going to have to go talk to the informants. I'm in a rush, boss. And I'm going to have to try to keep at around, a, well, Gonna have to keep a thousand dirty money at all times because five stars is not good when you, well, especially when you're at the beginning of the game. 
So we need to bribe the police and do the whole investigation type stuff. Destroy the investigation. Or make him take it off us. So we can also buy a lot of beer this way. And they're selling quite a bit, but I'd much prefer to make it myself, I think. I took the jam out of their dough. There go. Here's a house. Let's go rent this. It's a free country, in it. It probably would be easy to buy. It. Maybe that's like a strategy that they would like you to do or use. I just don't know. I don't know. Maybe we could buy something. Uh, you're selling. Hey, that. soldier. Here's the deal. Okay. I got me a buddy. No rest for the boss. Let's just take that. So. I took the jam out of their donut. There's I'm a in brewery. a rush, boss. So we'll have 35B and we're not selling it anywhere. Which is also a great big help. Because we don't own any of these speakeasies, which are here and here, right next to us. Every dog has its day. Now the speakeasy owner is on warm relations. You want something done right? Do it yourself. Nice. So we're already halfway once completing the mission, and of course we're creating our own beer. I might upgrade this. 900 dirty money. No, I'm gonna keep it at that. Because we're not making any money anyway. Like, we're just losing it through the soup kitchen and the wages. So I'll keep it at the 60. Well, I'll keep it now. There's not much to do apart from have a quick perv around the city. What's that car doing? All the other cars have to stop because of it. I wonder what cars do like when they reach the end of the map. Do they keep driving? We can switch this like this. There we go. Try to get the largest angle of the road. Do they magically disappear? No. We can't check it out any. So, let's work this out to try to get the 60 beer. There's another informants. And is that the only informants so far? Yeah, it is. Okay. There aren't many house, or houses that we can get at all. It's just that one. Right next to the politician's office. Or the city official. Just try to keep it at this level. So we're at thousand eight hundred dollars. Come on, make some more. Come on. Do people do anything while that while they're at night or not? Well, they are. Use fifteen. We need a good ten more. And then I guess we'll get all the beer taken off us. But we'll still be producing it, so that means I'll need a speakeasy sooner or later. Who's the guy that loves us? This guy. So we can buy him out for 250. I'll go and do that soon ish. I'm worried about the police though. Very worried. Oh, I wanted to watch him park. He just disappears. Some interesting type of trucks here. Pickup trucks. Or utes. And it's raining again. What do you know? It's have to look at them quite nice. A little balcony area. Alright, we're just about done. Finally. What does this say? Taste the pleasure. Mozzie juice. Okay. I have no idea why it's called Mozzie juice. Now, I'll take it for what, what I it is. Call a party. Ain't seen the club so full in a long time. Oh uh, wait, what was that? What? The Ku Klux Klan is attacking the club. It looks like they really want to crush your party. Well, no one attacks my club and leaves to brag about it. Let's get them. Oh no, I wanted to hire a new guy. Oh. 
Aww. Okay. Well, I guess we can't hire any new gang members, which is a bit unfortunate. We can't, like, assign any... Or, like, assign any new guys. Oh, well. I don't stand a chance, I'd assume. It's like, this is the party. It's definitely not a party that I'd say is going off. Okay. Ready, boss. Who's this guy? Oh, big man. He's our ally. Okay. <laughs> this game is definitely going to be banned in, uh, I guess, Germany. And Germany is definitely not fans of uh, all these KKK stuff and anything, really. Um, so. You're going to bark or bite? <laughs> That's funny. I definitely know uh, I'm going to use the KKK images in the thumbnail. All right, um, so, right behind here. Are we going to be able to shoot him from here? What do they have? They got knives and, like, medieval knives at that. <laughs> oh, we hit him once. Okay. That's in line with the odds. That's what, sh what the five guys do. Oh, they got throwing knives. Oh. Shites. Oh. Hi. How are you not dead? You got a lot of health, mate. Good job. What if we'll be able to control the big man? <laughs> Pimpin'. Okay. Mm. Where should we go? Around here? Okay, if only you could, like, face the other way, but I'll take that. Thankfully, I don't have much health. Now, Doc. Okay, let's end the turn. All right, let's go. El Presidente. Oh, we're not able to get... Oh, it's 13. See me and you die. Where's this enemy spotted? Oh, there's a guy over here, right. I think I actually like this position. Oh, well. I come up here. Oh, what? Didn't tell you to shoot. Too late now. At least you hit him. Nothing personal. And we shot. Oh, we killed him. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> oh, so close. Let's see what the big man's gonna do. He's got the baseball bat. You know, he means business. <laughs> oh, yeah, boys. <laughs> okay, so you're panicked, Squigs. He's a typical coward. I'm way better than you. I did well that top, that round at least. I need a drink. And I think Doc will be able to maybe even clear him out. Nope. Far from it. All right, let's go. Behind behind the chairs. Let's go up here then. Ah, there's this guy up here. So there's two more. Did a nice amount of damage. I definitely am scared of this guy. Did quite a good job. Oh, lighting us all up. He's got a massive range on him. Oh. Concussion. He's got nine health left. Oh no. Squigs. My man. What happened to you? What's El Presidente doing? All right, firstly. Where are we? Doc. All right, Doc, I'm going to tell you to come right up around here. Try not to hit this our big man. Terminal. Beautiful. That's what I like to hear and see. And you don't have any movement. Time to points, get a move so on. Let's end this. We're panicked. Okay, get a better angle. Because you missed. It's not the best. The big man's not going to be able to get here in time. Aye. Oh, that was close. Right. Good job. Good job. Ah. 
I need a doctor. Time to meet your maker. Phew. Well, that was close. And a chance hit chance to hit reduced by 10%. Hmm. That's not good. Hopefully that doesn't stay like that forever. Strack Mebla and the Ku Klux Klan are running like the whips they are. So sad that they trashed Walker's club. Big man. I'm sure it'll do fine. The whole community is chipping in to help with the repairs. I'm sure that you can spare, let's say, $5,000 to help out a friend. I know Walker. He's too proud to ask for help himself. So we must take matters in our own hands. Gather $5,000 in dirty money. Okay, at least we get to level up. We only had another guy. I wonder how long this will last. The band-aid. Hopefully not for a long time. And we still have like all these police problems, won't we? Let's buy this guy out. Got a lot of work to do. So then I'll be able to make a bit of money from the beer. I'll upgrade him later, just not yet. This guy's neutral. I'm sure he'll start hating me soon. I might as well buy this out as well. I'm in a rush, boss. There's a reason why I'm the boss. Oh, no problems? Okay. Uh, let's send in another guy to... What should we do? Drink up? Or we need 10 liquor? No. We'll sweet talk him. We can go far. Wait, we don't have a gun though. I'm a bit rusty, but I'll do it. How's that going to work? I've got no idea. Um, so what can we establish here? A speakeasy, Ponzi, Ponzi scheme. Oh. Hmm. Samuel Johnson's my name, and money is my game. That's what I like to hear, big man. And do you know what makes the world go around? It's money. Everybody wants it. Everybody needs it. And I'm here to give it to them. For a price. The people here respect and look up to you. If they, if they thrust you, I'm not sure I'm keen on that. They will trust me as well. <laughs> Help me establish my business in this neighborhood and I will reward you generously. Uh, bonus objective, gain dirty money by helping Samuel Johnson develop his business skills. Okay. Well, I don't really care about clean money at least. Um, this would help. I won't feed my gums, boss. And I also have to keep around $1,000 at all times. So establish a bookmaker or have a couple of firearms. It doesn't say how much it's going to cost to do this mission though. I could murder a tree. Start a fight with the local mugs. Okay, and you've set Every up the pizzeria. Or pizzeria, as you guys like to say. I'll leave that. I'll leave that as it is as well. Speak easy though. Maybe I could improve this. Increase the profits. It only costs 200 dirty money anyway. Oh wait. Go back and go to the efficiency. There's too many other speakeasies. Like this one. Gotta watch out for the money. We'll have to accept a mission. So what should we do? Establish a bookmaker. Well, I'm keen on telling some thugs to get lost, so let's do that. Let the dark handle it. In the meantime, we okay, double click here and we'll get fix it. We'll hire him for fifty-six dollars a day. It's quite a bit, but the days go by pretty slowly. Hopefully, I'll be able to do this all by myself. So. Um, I'm tempted to go auto resolve. Oh, that do. Oh, he got hit. Broken leg. Wonder how long these effects last. It doesn't say. Ah, I'll drink to that. Oh, and now we've got fix it injured as well. Hmm. I guess I'll be doing all the fights by myself because it didn't work out to the way I wanted it to. I need to keep on saving up that money. Hard earned money, that is. Uh, let's go. Beer. No. Beer's the only thing I've got, so I've got to keep on selling that.
the brewery on increase in production as the pizza pizzeria gone pizzeria $95 for the henchman definitely quite pricey oh, oh here comes the investigation so what am I gonna have to do um, oh, okay we can bribe him and then it costs I think a th uh, $500 more every time okay that's not good not a very good thing to be in we're quite in a dangerous position so let's start upgrading these guys. Level them up to being tough. Can we like double upgrade them or something? No, we can't. That means that we've already got him, I guess. Okay. I do like the movement points. So I'll get two of them. Close that. Squigs. Level up. And you will get. be brave okay doc level him up and we'll go for yeah we'll go for the two more movement points and then fix it I want it well we can't really tell you to move up though can I unfortunately not got these two missions more firearms or a bookmaker Although, at the moment, I'm really struggling for money. Can I fire someone? Fire. Okay. So, I fired him. We'll see what will happen then. Because I really can't be splurging out too much money here and there. At will. See, our daily balance is skewed because of that first mission, though. Um, how about I supply him some beer? 30 beer. For $600, that's pretty good. I'm not going to be complaining about that. I have to wait and see how much this is moving up. The heat. to establish a bookmaker I don't want to be spending any money yet it would be nice if there was a fast forward button that's all we're doing now is just waiting about quite pointlessly really there we go our daily balance is about eight so producing more than we're selling which is good because then I'll be able to sell it to this guy and then he'll be warm and I'll be able to buy him out that's my goal, at least. And then we'll have to try to find the other speakeasy, wherever it may be. Shouldn't be too hard to find out. And this is just with police presence that's low. Imagine it at being high. It's so much harder. No, daily balance has gone down to five, so it's sort of, it's going up a bit. Nothing too major, though. As long as we're selling the stuff. And of course, we've got the pizzeria. So, I don't really understand the feed rating. Does it make people, like, hate us and then, which in turn raise the heat? Like it did just then? Got the soup kitchen, of course. Not a fan of it, really. Don't want to increase my life trading. It's already big enough as it is. That's what she said, but... Hmm. Another house up here, which we could make use of. $180. Dirty money. That's pretty cheap. Extremely cheap, even. Okay, well, we're not making much money. And I don't want to spend... Well, I gu I'm guessing I'm going to have to spend a lot of it. So, wait. Let's go. Hey, soldier. Okay, Here's the I'll take you up on that. I will take you up on that. 
So then I'll be able to sell the beer off to him. I'll supply him the beer. Hopefully he'll be in warm relations and then I'll be able to buy him out. That is the goal. It should work out as well. The amount of detail in this game is pretty amazing. The textures look really, really cool. Everything is textured well. It's a lot like Tropico though. Since we're all doing some business, how about buying some weapons from good old Uncle Sam on top of what you just bought? I don't know. It's tempting, but I'm not gonna take that you up on that offer. Let's go supply him. Time to get my hands dirty. There is running about. Didn't have much to run at all. Well, if they're like little speech bubbles or something, you can see what they're on about. Nice, good There's job. There's a reason why I'm the boss. So he's warm with us, now we can buy him out for 250 dirty money. A real boss ain't afraid of grunt work. And that should really help us out with everything, really. The amount of money that we'll be making and all that. That's how it's done. It is indeed. El Presidente bought a speakeasy from a friendly owner. And the efficiency, no. Gonna upgrade this, 200 dirty money. Maybe we should get into the liquor trade. How about that? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of doing. So we'll need to uh, need to find another of these little tents somewhere. Uh, let's go find an informant though. Pretty sure they'll be the only guys that'll be able to really help me. We've got another speakeasy here. They're neutral. Let's see how much they want. Too much, really. There's the informant. Oh, sweet talk. It's a free country, innit? I do like the mini map. I haven't really used it all too much. We've got a distillery here, and distilleries can be useful. Um, what if I raid it? It may bankrupt afterwards, which is also useful. We'll gain a bit of additional heat. Where's though. going to hell for? Exactly. I was just about to say it's pretty much well worth doing, though. So <laughs> let's see the idiot right in his orange tracksuit pants. And he's a lime green jacket. So I'll be able to sell that liquor, of course. And uh, we'll be able to sell it off at the... Hopefully we'll be able to, excuse me, buy it out as well. Oh, we run into a problem, have we? Okay, um, let's assign all these guys. It's well in our favor. Let's order resolve. Okay. Work makes me thirsty. A distillery owners are in a brewery. Okay, they're both cold. That's nice right. beeswax, eh, hey, boss? Um, anything of note? There's another informant up there. Don't really care. So, where did we fight? Where well, did we cause this problem? Here's a distillery. I don't want to raid it again, because we can't. Try buy, I need five more guns. Hopefully it goes bankrupt. Although I don't think I think it happens immediately. So that's that. What if we go liquor? Nope. No, I'm not gonna take anyone up on the offers. Nice warehouse. The or the illegal brewery is set up to supply a lot of speakeasies. Let's get out of here. Drive by, we don't have guns, of course. Raiding it, not really the best option. We're gonna have to pay him off though. Raid the brewery for 30 beer and gain heat. All 
Oh, then definitely not gonna go bankrupt. So I'm guessing I'm gonna have to start a bookmaker or something of the sorts. I'll also go ahead and intimidate him. I won't beat my gums, boss. Good, that's good to hear. Eighty-six dollars, dirty money. Let's Let rent this the out. Dark handle it. I'm really interested to see what this informant will tell us. Hopefully something we don't know yet. And we'll learn something. The Squigs is going on that mission. So O'Connell, well, O'Connell, or Doc, is supposedly injured, but he's still running like a lunatic. Done, boss. Oh, hello. A bank. This is new. What was a bank heist? Defeat the KKK thugs guarding the weapons. Ah. That would prove to be useful. Ah, uh, I'll drink to that. Let's see, you want me to establish a bookmaker. Okay. I think that sounds good. Worth going to hell for! Because we'll also get the extra money. So. Hopefully we'll be able to do this mission. I hope. Um, okay. There we Those go. Those clowns were no match! A real boss ain't afraid of grunt work. Okay, and now there's an investigation into us. If only you could see these police cars, you just hear them. And then what happens? Like, you gotta pay them off yourself. Call on a favor from a friendly deputy, or use another criminal as a scapegoat. Got none available though, so I'm not gonna try that. I just wait it out, see what happens. I think it'll pop up. That's a nice amount of daily income. You want something done right? Do it yourself. How much money did we get then? Got no idea. Hopefully this is the final mission. Or the final... Um, yeah, the final mission. But anyway, we've been dragging this on for a bit too long. We'll end the episode now. We'll be back very shortly. We'll find out, no doubt what's happening over here with the investigation soon as well.